background here because right now I'm in my living room. If you want to see a living room tour, I'd be happy to shoot it for you. Leave me a comment below or just email me or leave me a message on my Instagram and I'll be happy to do it for you. But today's video is all about cooking utensils and cookware sets and stuff like that. So I have been a cook, a home cook for the longest time ever. I've been cooking since I was 18 years old and I just enjoy the process of um, creating nourishing meals and developing my own recipes and getting inspiration from all around the world. So since I cook so much and I, when I started out, I barely had like any idea, trust me. I had no idea what I was cooking, uh, the utensils of what I was cooking and stuff like that. So I kind of did my own research and had a lot of friends and family pour in, their, uh, pour in their advice and suggestions and I finally have a cookware set that is healthy and um, very much um, um, non-toxic when it comes to cooking on a daily basis and then for my family. So without any ado, let's get started. The, the first thing that I kind of eliminated from my um, kitchen is anything that was non-stick. Anything that said non-stick was totally out unless and until it was made of ceramic which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, so I used to use um, the colorful coated um, non-stick pan which would kind of peel after a while and I had no clue that they were so toxic and had so many chemicals uh, li lining the walls of the utensils. So what I ended up investing is stainless steel. Now I come from India and way back when I was growing up everything was stainless steel. Like in my house like non-stick was just an occasion when we used to put something non-Indian like Chinese or Indo-Chinese but basically all our Indian food actually was cooking in a steel pot or a steel uh, bowl or stuff like that like utensils uh, and that was so popular but when I grew I thought non-stick is in fashion or whatever and I had no clue why I switched from the way that I was brought up to kind of transitioning into non-stick. Um, so uh, what I did is I went back to my roots and I actually invested in um, stainless steel cookware um, set which is actually the healthiest of them all and I invested in this company. I did a lot of research on the different kind of companies that were having stainless steel. One is from Kirkland's and Costco. Uh, the other one is by Calphalon. Now Calphalon is a really good trusted and has amazing reviews um, all of all over uh, about their wear sets and I got this during Thanksgiving so I got a big time deal so if you want to just wait a couple more months and wait for Thanksgiving you can definitely get a substantial reduction in your price as compared to the regular MRP and I got like tons of pots and pans and whatnot I got uh, like these kind of that I kind of use for Indian curries, Thai curries. Um, I got like the big pot as you can see right here. I make all my homemade stock. I do not buy a vegetable stock from the store because of the sodium content and when I make my own vegetable stock I just store it in these Kirkland boxes and put it in my refrigerator. So I make all of this in my big stock pot right here and it comes with lids and stuff like that. If you want any more info just comment me below. I'll try to leave a link if I can. Um, I got like these frying pans as well and they are really good quality. It's very sturdy and you actually require very little oil even when cooking or sauteing or ba uh, not baking but sauteing or stir fries and stuff like that you do not need a lot of oil and i'll do a separate video on the best oils to use in your kitchen as well um, so that should be beneficial but i think uh, the thing what i like about this is it could be um it holds up even when the temperature is high on your gas so medium to high it does not burn it is very very heavy at the bottom and its quality is excellent so i think this is one of the um, 
pans that I thought would be a great addition to my kitchen and I totally revamped my entire kitchen uh, to get rid of all the non-stick stuff that I had. It comes in like 10 or 30 piece sets which is like more than enough for a family of four uh, if you cook every day. So that was the first thing that I, invent, uh, I, I invested in the past, I was saying invented, invested in the past um, year during Thanksgiving. Um, so that's about that and I, I have a relatively small space to kind of keep all the utensils together because I cook so much so I didn't want them to kind of like get scratched at the bottom when you kind of stack your utensils it kind of gets a little scratchy and you don't want that to happen since they are pretty expensive as compared to the non-stick pans and stuff like that so I got these utensil placemat to kind of keep so it comes in different colors so if your pan is small you can just use this and then just stack it on top of it just like that so it doesn't scratch and it's nice and safe so like if you have that you have the big one and you can get these at bed bath and beyond and that's what i did um so i think that was a great addition in addition to the placemats i use a special cleanser and polish especially for stainless steel called barkeeper's friend which is right here and it kind of removes if there is any kind of um, like slight burn marks or it just cleans it like for it to sparkle and I also use it in addition with removes uh, rust, lime stains and tarnish this is the barkeeper's friend again so I use this as well and it gives a brilliant shine to all of that and I got this from Amazon I got this from Ross Ross and uh, it's only for $2.99 so it's a great um, deal to kind of go along with your stainless steel cookware set and I feel like I'm talking too much mm. all right so now moving on to the next thing and um, next set of sets that I invested in again is ceramic non-stick coating pans because um, I use a lot of like pancakes or dosa, dosa are Indian uh, pancakes um, then a lot of like all of that stuff but sometimes what happens is kind of um, cannot take like super high heat like if you put it on high heat it might get a little burn and it's a hassle to kind of like scrape off and get all the gunk out so what I like to do is I use for those purposes I use my green pan as you can see I have two sizes this is the big and this is the small it doesn't come with lids though but I actually use it only for stir frying and pancakes and stuff like that so you don't really need it and that's only like I don't know one thing anyway so I use this for like pancakes and stuff like that and it is such a great great item in addition to my kitchen it kind of slides up easily it is ceramic non-toxic and it is just a wonderful addition to your frying pan collection if you cook a lot or even if you're just beginning to kind of build your kitchen I think these tools will definitely keep you on the right track since the starting and you wouldn't have to kind of go through the learning curve that I did so I think that should be and I actually searched YouTube for the best utensils and unfortunately I did not really find a lot of in educational videos so I thought that maybe you know I should just start and let people know about the things that are um, more on the healthier side for daily cooking um, so as I told you first was stainless steel the second one was the ceramic non-stick non pans for all your like stir fries and all of that that requires this relatively high heat stainless steel is usually for low to medium heat so just keep that in mind when you are cooking so that will definitely give you a lot of idea once you start experimenting with it 
And last but not the least, the heaviest of them all is the cast iron. As you can see here, I have a small one. As well as I have like this huge one. This is from a company called Lodge. And you can get them at Walmart. And it's so cheap. It's not even like, I think like 20 bucks or something like that. I don't remember, but it's comparatively like pretty cheap. And I use this for um, like, um, what do you say, for like high temperature cooking. Like if I have to um, make like a vegetable sizzler, like that's an Indian. I don't know if it's Indian, but sizzler is something like heated on a high temperature, like super high temperature, and it kind of sizzles on top. And then you kind of serve it in this, and you just have to be careful wearing gloves and stuff like that. So I use that. And this as well, I use it for my pancakes and other all high high heat items. And this is cast iron, so it is made of iron, and it actually helps in increasing your immunity and increasing your iron absorption in your body because it is made of iron. And you cook with it, iron is incorporated into your food, and then you kind of get an extra dose of iron into your body. So that completes my uh, little video about all the cooking sets that I use in my kitchen. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and yeah, you can follow me on all the social network on Facebook at Glam Local, on Instagram at Glam Local and yeah, I think that's about it and also on Twitter. I'm also on Twitter at Glam Local where I post all my daily musings of food, family and health. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this video and I hope to see you very very soon in my next video. Bye!